big story at this hour. Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired a meeting of the Union Council of Ministers where they were briefed about the management of the pandemic and the availability of uh, oxygen and medicines. This is the first meeting of the Council of Ministers in this second wave, this uh, disastrous second wave of the COVID-19 in the country. Now at this meeting, which was held virtually, the Niti Aayog member VK Paul gave a presentation on the COVID-19 management. Union ministers briefed their cabinet colleagues after this on the availability or uh, as many would call it, the lack of availability of oxygen and medicines respectively. NDTV Sunil Prabhu has been uh, monitoring uh, that meeting. He now joins us. All right, we uh, seem to have uh, just lost the line there with Sunil Prabhu, but he was monitoring that meeting that was held virtually the first time the uh, Council of Ministers met uh, in this second wave, a second wave that has seen India reporting more than 3 lakh cases for a week now, a second wave that has seen India reporting more than 3,000 deaths. And uh, in the midst of all that, the Council of Ministers uh, met and Sunil Prabhu was monitoring that meeting. Let's go across to him. So Sunil, the council observed uh, as it reviewed the measures taken in the last 14 months by the centre uh, and the states to combat the crisis. Were they satisfied? Because really that's what the public has been asking mostly. What was being done over the past uh, uh, 14 months? Absolutely. And that's a question not only you, but other, everybody else uh, would be asking this question. Uh, it's in that context that we are really uh, waiting to ye see uh, the answers on this entire important issue. Uh, some of them, of course, uh, as you can read between the, dry, uh, the lines in that press release of the Council of Ministers, is that the Prime Minister asked his ministers to be in touch with the people at the ground level and to help them. And I think that's the major point that everybody wants to see uh, and ensure uh, that there has been a disconnect between the people and the government. There is virtually no centre, no state government people are to fend for themselves and the Prime Minister himself telling his Council of Ministers to be in touch with them and to see uh, that these things uh, play out at the grassroots level, that they are there to assist them because the worst has yet, yet not yet hit and it is uh, feared in terms of the numbers because we have been looking at those statistics at the Health Ministry today where the biggest vaccination programme which was expected to be rolled out from tomorrow will have its ups and downs in particular, of course, uh, the private vaccination centres for those who wanted to pay and do it will not be able to function. So it's in that backdrop we have a real crisis of sorts. But of course, as uh, epidemiologists and others were explaining today, the first priority is to cut the chain, to stop people from congregating and to carry on this lockdown as far as possible so as to see that the chain of transmission is stopped. Then we go to the next step and the next step is uh, to start that uh, process of vaccination. Hopefully by then, with the Supreme Court's intervention and the government hopefully having a rethink, they will relook at this entire issue of the vaccination policy and uh, hopefully we will have some better clarity and a better rollout, uh, which will become a mass movement because if India has to succeed, as you know, Sarah, everybody needs to be vaccinated and I think that's the most important point.